Good day, gentlemen and ladies. It's the uh, verdict time for my uh, more deck. This summer, uh, I've been using my uh, John Deere mower tractor quite extensively. Uh, we had like pouring rain condition. It was a, a rainy summer that we had. The summer basically start when I start my vacation, beginning of September. <laughs> I only use it, I, I guess, two times in September because it was a very dry uh, September month that we had. Now we're at the end of the month of October. I cut the grass the last time was about two, three weeks, uh, two weeks ago. And uh, yeah, so if you remember, I will put the link of my video last uh, winter during my, it was a snowy winter. I uh, put uh, three various uh, stuff, uh, protective uh, stuff on my mower deck. Uh, the first one I painted, then I put resin, fiberglass resin over it, and uh, then I painted it again. Then I put uh, tar, black protective wheel well tar, and uh, so uh, we will see which one of those trees or maybe the trees are still there it's the verdict time so uh, remember every year i had and most of you folks have to remove the mower deck clean it de-rust it repaint it and redo it again well for me i was just had enough of it basically uh, paint is not uh, it's a great protective but not against uh, multitude uh, rock rock throwing like I had when I was in Sheffield or even here so uh, that's why I decided to uh, make the video in the last spring I think I didn't make a special video I was adding inf like uh, information but this time this video it's only uh, about my mower deck it's gonna be a short video all right so enough uh, yakking and talking <laughs> I'm gonna move my uh, mower deck and uh, stick around Cheers. Later on, uh, in about uh, one week or two weeks uh, from now, I'm I can wait to, uh, to try the oil filter removal. Then uh, Luke from uh, Orange is my new green. Uh, send it to me, give it kindly, give it to me, so I don't have to battle remove the, <laughs> the oil filter. <laughs> I had uh, quite a, a lot of video about that. <laughs> it always finished on an oil bat. <laughs> All right. Cheers. So uh, let's flip it. <laughs> All right, so let's do the uh, first analyze about it. I hope you uh, can see very well. All right, so uh, the black tar so far, like I had some black tar removed there. And this I remember very well, I banged into it. And I called, I can see it's all the way to the, uh, to the steel. Here the paint is there, the paint is there. But this I remember very well, it's the water valve that I hit. So it was pretty uh, there. And that's probably another time that I hit it. But uh, here another time, I hit it a couple of times, let's see. But uh, all the skirt, there's some marks. But the, uh, the resin stay there. Now the inside, the black tar here, I'm very surprised. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna uh, clean it, remove all the, uh, the, the grass and uh, We'll see after I clean it with a piece of wood. I ain't gonna use a steel to create a dent or something like that. So let's do that, all right? Stick around, cheers.
All right, gentlemen, so, and ladies, so my verdict is it's a winner. Now, what I recommend is clean it first, paint it, and put black tar only. Because you see here, all around, that's where the rock get thrown. And all the black tar, as you can see, well, it's all grass, but uh, if, I, uh, if I go here, it's still there. It's not to the still at all. Like uh, uh, here, where the uh, the rock often get. Jeez, it's gonna be tough to see, but you can see the black tar here, right under the grass. The other thing I like to mention is I never ever wash, ever put water under. So everything here is on bone dry, so no corrosion occur. As you can see, because it's a dust environment right now. So what I recommend, never wash your under, under your mower deck, it's very bad. It creates corrosion because everything is bone dry right now, so nothing is uh, corroding. Uh, yes, unrust it, paint it and put black tar. But however, like I told you, like here it was still on steel. And uh, yeah, the black tar went, the paint went, but the uh, the resin stay there like big time. It smell is still uh, very smooth, even if it was still on steel. So uh, I will finish to clean it and uh, stick around. Cheer Good day, gentlemen and ladies. I just finished to clean it, and uh, so are we gonna go in detail? I went with. Uh, you can see my tripod is there, so I'm holding the camera. So let's go in detail. So all the area except some uh, I can tell because of the rotating blade cutting the grass like this that has throwing rocks so the uh, the black tar get a little bit damaged there however the resin is still there like it's still very very slippery uh, all around where it used to be like rock blasted like right to the steel I put a thicker uh, thicker uh, uh, tar on it and it, it's even melted with the uh, with the um, the grass so it really offer a great protection so if I had put I had put a thicker coat of tar in here probably that will never happen uh here used to have like a lot of uh it was uh, right on rock blasted nothing because the the blade is is rotating like it tr basically throwing rock in there and uh, i put thicker and uh tar uh coat of tar in there and everything is you can see it's uh i can feel it it's the tar is there and it here like <laughs> i don't know like uh it's uh it's there's a big it's still bumpy of a uh, cushion uh, tar there uh same thing all around now my fiberglass patch work very good here the tar is still there the fiberglass is still there and the resin is right under so here it's like fiberglass and in, in other uh, workable op option it didn't tear off it's it's thick there all right uh however all around where they have a uh, the grass, like, uh, like I mentioned to you, those three bumps were for directly still on still, well, still on tar, because it's the water valve, uh, the city water valve that I hit. Uh, and uh, however, the resin is still there because there's no corrosion whatsoever because the resin held pretty good. So, uh, yeah, all around the tar, like here, I remember I put a thick coat However, here often I bang it on the uh, on the concrete of the asphalt. So, but the resin hold really good. So generally, the tar hold it pretty good. Like even the back here, and uh, except like what well, that is still on still. So uh, what I recommend to you folks is definitely uh, clean it very good. Winter is a great time uh, for doing those sort of things. So uh, clean it very good, paint it, and put a good coat of tar. And then after the year, the year after, clean it again. Just re-put uh, tar. 
Now, if you have a lot of rocks, clean it very good. Put a resin. Resin is very expensive. Uh, I have the uh, leftover here. It's called fiberglass resin, right in there. And uh, this is, uh, uh, by the way, this uh, I think it's uh, $25, the big one. When I, I did the uh, the uh, the more deck, my uh, tongue for on my car, and also the inside of my drum. I'm very happy to see that result on the uh, on the more deck. So that means my snow thing when I put the resin inside, that will work very good. So I'm very happy about that. So uh, I don't know how I'm gonna name my video. Probably uh, this is the best uh, protective coating for your more deck, but I need to have, I have 100 words. So try to formulate a word about that. But uh, definitely uh, tar is working very good. It's cheaper than resin, but I'm very about, uh, happy about the resin. And uh, the only thing I have to do now, no rust to remove, nothing. I just have to put some tar on the back here. I have some tar, a roof tar to be uh, because I still am waiting for parts for my uh, uh, my uh, chimney, but I'm gonna put that there, and that will be it. So uh, so definitely, paint is not a protective at all against corrosion during the winter, but during the summer, uh, yeah, it's not uh, it's not good enough. It's, uh, I've been doing it since the last 10 years. Every year I have to remove the, the rocks because the paint chip away because of the rocks. So uh, tar, definitely a good, uh, good choice uh, because it's cheap. Uh, the second best choice is resin. Why the second? Because it's very expensive. It's uh, three times more expensive than tar. However, it will last you a life. That's it. You never have to deal with it. Uh, and uh, the third option also, it's very expensive. Now, resin with a fiberglass uh, coating, that will, like the patch, that definitely will fix it for all. It will make the uh, stronger too, like resin. Like here, I had a bat of resin between the propeller here, and I can feel, it because I, I was uh, worried about the, the structural integrity of the, uh, the, the uh, spindle blade. And now it's everything is sitting in there, so I'm very happy about that. The other tip, outstanding tip that I learned uh, on the web, I, I I forget his name. I'm gonna put it there. He's, a, he's doing a review now at a big tractor show. Oh my God, I'm getting old. Anyway, uh, never wash your uh, mower deck. Never ever. Everything is bone dry. Water create humidity, create corrosion and so on so forth so uh, yes keep it dry and trust me this summer we had it was pouring rain summer and as you see i never wash it i i, I always try to wait in the afternoon when the grass is dry but i'd say one one at least one many times i don't say half of the time maybe one third of the time i had to cut it because and the grass was wet but not washing it, just came in, the, in my garage. That was good enough. So uh, I hope that will help you, good folks. Uh, and by the way, uh, the, this year for uh, sharpening my blades, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so please do take care of yourself. I hope you like my informative video. And uh, and uh, yes, I'm gonna do a maintenance video uh, next week when I have my uh, filter or probably uh, something, some, somebody, uh, something like that. All right, so uh, cheers.